Hi guys, welcome to NextGen Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 3 point per question. So let's get started. So in this question, we are given a cold and hot copper at these temperatures placed side by side in an adiabatic enclosure. So there is a heat transfer happening and there will be a final equilibrium temperature. We need to find the equilibrium temperature. So in this adiabatic transfer, there is no heat escaped out. So Q equals to zero. So we will use this information. And also they asked why the final temperature is not the average of 0 and 100 which is 50. We will find out why. So there is heat transferred from hot to cold. Not out. So the Q can be written as delta H hot plus delta H cold. The change in heat in hot and cold. So let's take the final temperature to be between 373 and 273 Kelvin. Now we will do the integration of the hot. So we will integrate the Cp. And this is how the final equation looks like after inputting the definite intervals. And this is delta H cold. And after integrating, we are left with this sort of equation. So the delta H cold plus hot is 0. So we will be left with a quadratic equation and here it is 2F square not Tf square. I made a mistake. So the final temperature would be 323.32 Kelvin which is greater than the average value expected. So if Cp is a constant value, we will have final temperature to be 50 degrees Celsius. So let us take it as A. 22.64 and if you take Cp as plus some Dt term we'll have this actual result so here the Cp increases with increasing temperature so we have to keep this in mind so let's see in another perspective so if I write these two terms I have integral Cp dt for hot and cold and the hot goes from 373 and let's take the expected average value 323 and 273 for the cold. So the hot cools down slowly and the cold heats up to higher temperature. So this is the actual result. So here the hot, the temperature decreases or the decrease in temperature is little slow due to a plus b term so i will highlight the bt term so due to the plus bt term the decrease in temperature is lower slower and here the increase in temperature is a little fast due to the plus bt term so this plus bt term is the main reason that is causing this difference in the expected final temperature Now we will find out the entropy due to this heat transfer and this is not a quasi static or a slow process transfer this is a fast transfer so that's why there will be some entropy created positive and the cold there is temperature increase so it is positive entropy and hot there is temperature decrease there is negative entropy and if you sum these entropies you get the delta is irreversible as 0.6 joule per kelvin now for the heat transfer you already know you can either use hot or cold or delta h so i take delta h of cold and input the final temperature in the equation above and get 1233 joules Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, 
please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel also please press the bell icon for further notifications if you have any content that you would like to see please do comment below